hosting my first Christmas party since before 2020, and I'm a little out of practice. So I made a list of all the food I need to prepare and all the places I need to clean. Because you know how it is. You get blind to all the spots in your house. But guests come in and they see that stuff. They look up. We don't look up. And I don't want to accidentally embarrass myself. So we're going to go through and we're going to get ready for this party. And I'm hoping it will help you the next time you have a party. So let's get started. I'm not going to worry about cleaning up my kitchen yet because I have some food prep to do. So I've got a dessert that I have to get made because it has to chill and set up before dinner. And then I'll come in here and cook and then I'll go clean some more. So I'm going to make something that our family is always called English trifle because our family comes from England. I wouldn't consider this a real English trifle, and it does have some of the same elements. It has a cake, it has a cream base, it has fruit, but it has something else in it that I would say makes it uniquely Utah, and you'll see what that is. The first thing I've got to do is bake a cake, and I'm going to make it easy on myself and just use a cake mix. So I wanted to make it with raspberries, but when I looked at the price of frozen raspberries, I went, I think not. So I found this berry blend, cherry berry blend, has strawberries, blueberries, pitted dark sweet cherries, and pitted red tart cherries. So I thought that's interesting, and I'll be putting bananas in it as well. And let it defrost a bit because it's going to go in the jello. Yes, this is why I say it is Utahized because jello is one of the important food groups in Utah. So I'm gonna to have to get the cake baking and I need to get the jello going. I want it to get to the point where it's partially set. It's going to end up this large. So it's not enormous. Some of these things are huge. When you are just setting the you know jello, it takes quite a long time for it to set, but there's a speed way to do it, which I've always done since my kids were little because I'd always think of the jello kind of late in the process. So I think the thing I need to do next is the pudding. Now I usually make pudding in the microwave, but I need to make sure the microwave's clean. It's one of my things I need to do anyway, because I know it's not clean. I'm gonna use my mean lady. You ever see those? It works really good. We are out of white vinegar. So I'm just gonna use this apple cider. Never used to cleaning. I imagine it's okay. Ooh, I, I don't like how that apple cider smells. White vinegar is a lot better. It's apple cider vinegar, not apple cider. I'm on a last minute see, emergency push because I didn't feel good yesterday. I don't use the microwave much myself. So that's why I'm always like, ah, when I open it up. Just some of the milk in here. I'm feeling very confused about the size of the trifle bowl. So I'll put it in the microwave for five minutes on high. Oh my gosh, it's so much easier than standing by the stove like this, which for it seems like 10 hours. It was like a happy day when I realized that I could do it this way. I need to calm down. Let's just get ourselves together. I don't know how familiar you are with Jello. It is a state food. We're known for Jello and we're known for fry sauce. Those are our two big contributions to the world. Jello is not from Utah, but Utah has perfected it to a high art. Now I can I just spilled water. You would think I've never cooked anything, that I have no time in the kitchen. Okay, I need three cups of boiling water. That's it. Now I'm going to put in three cups of ice. So I just stir that. The ice will melt. i got to go stir the pudding though. That is thickening up. Pudding is ready. Put this in the refrigerator. This is not going to take long. I'm going to do speed cool down with this. I have to use up all the ice, but I got the water deep enough, so that's good. So now I'm just going to stir. So the steam's coming out, and I'm going to stir this. So I really don't know where this recipe came from other than my great-grandmother and my great-aunt made it. Somebody at some point said, oh, let's make trifle with jello and pudding. Won't that be easy? 
Oh, we like jello. We like pudding. And then, yes, my hands are clean. I'm gonna put some of the cake in there. It's a little warm. I think it'll be fine. So I'm gonna put some pudding, pudding on it. Be full. Oh, I feel like a wide open one right now. And then I'll put it in the refrigerator and it will set up. Now I've got the dessert made. I'm gonna go on to the cleaning. I don't have a lot of time. So you're gonna we're gonna all find out how much I can do in a short amount of time. I'm gonna start from the top down. And the reason why is you know, we don't look up when we're in our houses. We tend to look at the floor and things, but our guests will sit on the couch and their eyes will go up. This is my list of things. We'll see what we can do. I want to get the guest bathroom spotless. I'm going to go from the top down with the fan lights and everything with my little e-cloth duster that really makes it easy. I want to go around the doors and the door switches. Now keep in mind, I'm only doing the areas of my home where the guests will be. I'm not doing the upstairs, I'm not doing the downstairs, just in this main area, which is not huge. I'm gonna spot check the walls, so I won't be in depth, but I wanna see if there's anything that's bad. I'm gonna wipe off the dining room chairs because nobody wants to go into somebody's house and feel grody on the chairs, right? We've got to move the extra two chairs down from the dining room. I need to get the vacuum and vacuum off the little couch because there's always cat hair. So I'm gonna have to do that for sure. We need to make sure the garbage is empty. Also, I'm gonna double check the salt and pepper shakers and wipe them off. When I'm using my e-cloth duster, I'm also gonna go around the door frames and like that, just you'll see, it's so easy with this thing. I'm gonna look at the TV screen, see if it's okay. I think it should be. I'm gonna look at the area by the garbage can to make sure it's not grody. I'm actually gonna dust the top of my refrigerator when I'm dusting the tall things because we do have some tall people in our family and they can see on top of there. I'm gonna quickly go over the window sills. So much as this is gonna happen with this e-cloth duster. We'll have my husband empty the garbage cans, wipe off all of the appliances really quickly to make sure that they're okay. Also, this is a surprise, but you're gonna wipe out the silverware drawer because if someone gets the silver and they see all crumbs in there. So I'm gonna wipe that out. I already cleaned the microwave, so that's good. I'm gonna look inside the dishwasher really quickly. It should be okay, but I just wanna go around the door and everything. So that shouldn't take long. We're gonna look for the cobwebs. We're gonna make the house smell good. I have some uh, wallflowers that I'm gonna put in. I will wanna make sure all the pillows and the throws are all straightened up. Make sure the surface is all clean, the countertops, the tables, the stove. I'm gonna to have to clean the floor because I haven't cleaned it. I wanted to do this yesterday, but I'm gonna use my steamer and that will make it go really fast. And I'm gonna check the front door. And then I need to make sure I'm all ready before they arrive. And I need to make the punch and I need to make the white bean chili. So, Make sure we have tissues. Oh, the wrap the white elephant gifts. Oh my gosh, I have so much to do. So little time to do it. Let's get going. I'll get the e-duster and we'll do that really, really quick because that will be fast. wallflowers by Bath and Body Works. They work a lot better than candles. Make our house smell really Christmassy. Back to dusting. I have this little thing. I just bought a new one because I mean I've taped this up. But this works really really well and I got it from Amazon. It's by Go Going. It works really really well with glitter. I mean you get glitter on your couches or something. This takes glitter up.
to do. This is the second set of chairs I've had here since we've had this cat. My daughter has had this cat. I'm gonna spray the chair with this and hope it works. And then I can steam mop it and then this whole part of the house is done and I can just do the kitchen. And a sweep in there. I always like run out of time, I gotta mop it. Oh, I gotta clean that bathroom. Oh, okay, I gotta get at it, I gotta get at it. on the side of the house. I've got to clean the bathroom. I'm going to clean the floor and the carpet over here. Wipe down the appliances and everything so I'll have that done. And then I can I can do the cooking. Then go up wipe myself off. Freshen my makeup. I have just a little I have two hours. I have two hours. Okay let's go clean the bathroom. You don't need to see the gory details. Shelves here with the cores. When you're cleaning the bathroom, make sure you clean around the edge of your sink really well. I can't tell you how many times I've gone to visit people. Their bathroom had been cleaned, but around the back, the bottom of the sink was not. It was grody and it, it made the whole bathroom look dirty. So if you have that, you can you can re -caulk it, you know. It's not that hard to put some new caulk down. So if your caulk is going grody, particularly in a gas bath, do something about it because it really makes it look like you haven't been cleaning your bathroom. Hey, could you do me a favor? These lights need to be dusted. You want me to get the duster? Well, I want you just to reach up there and dust them. I, I could do it, but I have to climb on the counter. You want me to dust the bolts? Yeah, the whole bathroom will look clean except you look up at the light and then it looks dirty. Then it makes the whole bathroom seem dirty, which is what we're trying to avoid. You have guests come, you want them to go to the bathroom and feel like, I'm in a clean bathroom. Actually, you don't want them to think about it. The only time people think about it is if it's dirty. So, all these little things I'm pointing out, like cleaning around the bottom of the seat, those are things that prevent them from having the Ooh, it's dirty. Ooh, do I dare wipe my hands on the towels? Because if that's dirty, then the towels might be gross. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna empty the garbage. How am I doing? I'm fine. I'm gonna empty the garbage and I'm gonna work on the floors on that part of the room. The dog dishes. Oh. Okay. I don't know, I'm stressed. I'm gonna go empty this garbage. You want to clean out the garbage can in the bathroom because that is the garbage can the guests are most likely to use. The tablecloth I want to use is in the washer because it didn't get washed. All I'm going to do here
I just had a moment where I realized I got this floor done and once I get the chili simmering, I will have time to wipe down the appliances and clean the rest of the floor, make the punch and go get dressed. So I'm just gonna do what I can and I have like 20 minutes to get as much clean as I can before I have to do that. Fortunately, it's really easy. You chop some onions. You're gonna dump all the rest of the ingredients in there except for the cheese. And then you're gonna let it simmer for an hour. Then when you're finished, you just are going to put the cheese in. And I tell you what, everyone who's ever tasted this loves it. Sing cries of angels. Sing in exultation, sing all ye senders of the heaven above. Come and behold him, born the king of angels. Thank you.